Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we're going to be doing our December 2020 wrap up. Whew, I know we're so excited to wrap up 2020. Shh, it's February when I'm recording this. Um, but I am finally recording this, guys. I actually read books in December. I know. I know, right? Crazy. Crazy. You guys weren't expecting that from me, I know. I love to keep you guys on your toes. But I read some books, so you know, I had to pull up the Goodreads to figure out what I read. It's fine. Your judgments don't hurt me anymore. Especially since I definitely don't remember most of the books that I read. Well, that's not true. Some of the books I, I do, <laughs> do remember. Okay. So, first up, this is just an order of reading. First up was Wait With Me Number One by Amy Dawes. You know, it's weird. I don't read books out of order in series, but somehow I read book number two before I read book number one. I definitely remember loving book number two, and I'm glad I read book number one because it explains some aspects of book number two that happened in book number one. Anyway, anyway, this is a, this is a romance. All I read were romances, guys. I'm sorry. Um, this is a romance, um, that features Katie, sorry, Kate, who, um, is a novelist who writes steamy romance and our mechanic, um, who works at Tire Depot. What's his name? Miles. Um, and our mechanic, Miles, who works at Tire Depot, and as it turns out, she was in a little bit of a writing block until for some reason she was in Tire Depot, and all of a sudden her writing spark came back to life, and now she's been using Tire Depot as her writing hub. <laughs> so she sits there literally all day writing away and stealing their free stuff. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm probably not explaining it well, but... I gave it five stars. I really enjoyed the book. I really enjoyed the relationship aspect of it and watching it grow. Um, I liked the conflict that did arise in this book because um, sometimes conflict can seem because you know in romance there's always at least a conflict. This one had a couple of conflicts and I enjoyed them. I liked how they were done and um, I didn't feel like they came out of nowhere. You could kind of feel it be building. Um, so, I I don't know. I, I liked the conflict aspect of it. I liked watching their relationship flourish. I love when couples go off into, like, their own little adventure and have, like... But, like, that whole adventure just messes up. And, and it was just good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, next up is Unconventional by Aletha Romig. If you watched one of my tag videos, I think it was... I think it was my Books and Bakes tag that I did in 2020. Um, you would have heard me talk about this book. This is one that Steph from Steph's, Uncensor Steph's Romance Book Talk um, told me to read a long time ago. I started reading it. It gave me anxiety. I stopped reading it and then I told myself, Indy ain't no punk. So I wasn't a punk. I didn't punk out and I started to read it again now knowing where it was going to lead my head. Um, and I, I, I enjoyed it. It took a huge turn that I didn't know it was going to take, which is what made it so good. It's short, it's sweet, it's steamy. Um, there's really, it, you know, like it's short, so there could be definitely more steam to it. And, but there are, it's an ongoing series. So, um, but I definitely gave it four stars. Um, because I definitely enjoyed it. Um, but it features a woman who is a newscaster and basically she has made her newscasting job her whole life. You know, she can't gain a pound. She has to wear the appropriate clothes, appropriate shoes, seem inviting, seem sexy, but not wanting, you know, all these types of things. And she feels like her marriage is on the line and she's trying to decide if her marriage is even worth um, keeping or what. Because now her husband wants a baby and she doesn't want a baby because when you get a baby, you get fat. And you can't be fat on TV, duh. So, hmm, you know. So it kind of sims from that, but there's so much more to it. I don't know. It's good. Go read it. It's short. It is 132 pages, so I'll take you guys no time. Um, oh, another one, Nicole from Who Picked This Book recommended Blitzen's Faded Mate. I had to read something Christmassy over December. Another short one. This one I gave three stars because it's corny, but it's cute. Not 
I mean, I'm pretty sure if I continued to read the series, I would get more out of it, but <laughs> it's definitely corny. It's called Blitzen's Faded Mate, but it has everything to do with Santa's reindeer. No, it's a twist on Santa's reindeer, but they are Santa's reindeer and Christmas and romance and <laughs> it was good. It was three stars because it was corny, but like the sexy part was super sexy and yeah. I'm sorry. I'm out of I'm out of practice. Um the next two were both billionaire romances and I'm not used to having this many books to have to talk about in a wrap up. Ooh. <laughs> the next one was The Stopover, The Miles High Club number 1 by TL Swan. I gave it 4 stars. Let me see which which one this was. Um oh, I remember getting into this book and just diving in and just sitting in my bed and just finally and just reading it all day um because it's called the stopover because on a flight back to london a man and a woman end up next sitting next to each other in first class and sexual tension just spark and flame and then their plane has to have a layover in a different city and so you know they're being put up in hotels because of weather on the way back to new york from london and well where there's sparks, there's flames, and where there's flames, there's hotel sex. And so <laughs> that is where our story goes. And then it starts there, and then it picks up a year later when some happen, when some choice circumstances um, brings them back together a year later. So I enjoyed it. I loved the tension. <laughs> I love the tension, the billionaire romance, um, just everything, everything that that it brings. Um, was just super good. Next up is Bared to You, Crossfire no number one by Sylvia Day. I gave this book four stars. So unlike the other billionaire romance, um, this one dives a little bit deeper um, into real life and things like that. Um, this, cause this one dives into undercurrents of history of sexual abuse and sexual assault. Um, especially um, as children you don't see it outright but you know that it happens but we don't get the full history as of yet um, this one they meet of course by chance running into each other um, in in a hall in the lobby of the new job where a female lead is going to be working she has no idea that she's looking at the CEO right now she just knows that she's but he's stupid hot and next thing you know he's her whole world um <sighs> this one's hard this one's i mean i definitely enjoyed it but where the other one was like a rapid fire read like i want to consume 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 because of some of the tension that goes there and this and that this one i had to take some breaks from not for a bad reason but just for the fact that that you do get those feelings of childhood sexual assault and that can just be be hard and a lot of a lot of miscommunication and need for therapy in this book yeah so, mm, something to think about when you go to read it. I still recommend it. I still enjoyed it. Ooh, and then I read Her Dad's Friend by Penny Wilder. As you might think, this feature is a daddy kink. Um, of course, okay, for some people who don't know, daddy kink doesn't necessarily mean like, like it can just mean like older gentlemen. And so for her, for this story, our main female lead is attracted to her dad's best friend. And... <laughs> and yeah. Um, it's romance, so I think you guys know where that's going to lead. And you know, sometimes these daddy kinks, you're like, maybe I need to find me a silver fox. Huh, maybe. Maybe. Because he just treats her so right throughout this book. Just treats her so right. Mm, wistful. Wistful. Let me stop. Because we're almost done! And I don't have the stamina for these videos, apparently. Ooh! ooh Dirty Kisses, The Lion and the Mouse by Kenya Wright. 
so good. So good. I don't know. I still only gave it four stars. I think it was how things... Ooh, I don't even know. Like, like I know, like I don't even know how to explain it. I'm like, how, how our main female lead kind of acts. But I love the story. Like, I love the story. It's so good. It's a mafia romance, interracial romance, written by a black author. And it's dark. Well, it's not too dark. It's not like taboo dark. Um, but it's kinky. There's murder involved. Obviously, it's mafia romance. There's murder involved. There's bombs going off. There's just... There's money that needs to be cleaned, and there's sexual tension just everywhere. And then there's like a mysterious past and a mysterious serial killer, and it was just so good. I cannot wait to listen to, because I'll probably continue on Audible, I cannot wait to listen to the second book during Black Author Readathon. So, I'm really excited. It was so good. Ah! It was so good. I definitely recommend that one. Like, definitely. It was so good. Eric was like, we're supposed to be decorating for Christmas. And Eric's like, are you going to come help? I'm like, shh, 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 shh. I, I'm listening to my book. He's like, well, listen to your book over here. And I'm like, oh, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for my December wrap up. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a bit once again since I've done a wrap up, I feel like. And it's been a bit since I've had that many books to wrap up about. Um, so I am just not... <laughs> I don't have the stamina for them. I just, I don't. I, I need to do better. I need to get back on it. It's, you know, but we just... We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. Anyway, 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 anyway. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification button so you never miss anything. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, including my Goodreads, because then you would have seen my reactions and all this kind of stuff about these books when they happened. And until next time, keep turning the pages.